Could it really be another sonic attack, this time here at a U.S. consulate in southern China? The U.S. sure seems to think so. Medical teams are en route. We had an incident in Guangzhou that was um, that the uh, medical indications are very similar and entirely consistent with the medical indications that have taken place to Americans working in Cuba. Remember Cuba? Last year, when some 24 U.S. diplomats or family members in Havana complained of hearing or memory loss and nausea amid talk of an attack by some sort of sonic weapon, later 10 Canadian diplomats in Cuba seemed similarly affected. Explanations ranged from a high-tech attack by a nefarious government to psychosomatic mass hysteria. U.S.-Cuban relations sank. Today, the U.S. State Department warned Americans in China that one of its workers has reported subtle and vague but abnormal sensations of sound and pressure, adding that they should all be on the watch for any acute auditory or sensory phenomena and unusual sounds or piercing noises. No Canadians are known to have been affected in China, but symptoms of the American are said to match those of mild traumatic brain injury. We're concerned about it. It's a, a serious medical incident. We want to As it take turns out, the U.S. Secretary of State was meeting in Washington today with China's foreign minister, who pledged his country's help while noting... We don't want to see that this individual case will be magnified, complicated, or even politicized. Leaving it all for now, simply a complete and bizarre mystery. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.